This is question 16 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told that ABC is an equilateral triangle. We're told that D lies on BC, that AD is perpendicular to BC. And what we're asked to do is prove that triangle ADC is congruent to triangle ADB. Now that word congruent just means, uh, when we're talking about triangles, it just means two triangles which are identical. Um, in terms of their angles and the lengths of their sides. Now, proving this, uh, we use um, we can use one of several um, rules that tell us that two triangles are congruent. So, for example, we could um, prove that two triangles are congruent if they share three sides which are the same, and we call this rule side side side, or abbreviated to SSS. Um, there are several of these, so we could use side, side, side. Um, if an, there is an angle, a side and an angle that are the same in both triangles, we can use that. Um, we can use um, right angle, hypotenuse, um, side, or side, angle, side. And as I say, there's, there's um, several of these, of these that we can use. Um, one that we're going to pick here is going to be right angle hypotenuse side. The reason that we're picking that is because what we can see is that we have got two right angled triangles and we're trying to prove that ADC, so that right angle triangle there, is exactly the same as this right angle triangle um, AD, uh, so I've got, got that wrong way around, didn't I? So sorry, ADC, that one, and this one here, ADB. Um, and we're trying to show that those two are the same. So, first of all, what we can say is because this is a right angled, uh, sorry, because this is an equilateral triangle, what we can say is that AB will be equal to AC. Okay, and the reason for that is, and again, it's good just to write down your reasons with this as well. So, AB equals AC, and the reason for that is because we're told at the beginning this is an equilateral triangle. So that's our reason for the first one. So there, what we've got is we've got a hypotenuse, which is the same size in both of the triangles. So AB is the hypotenuse of ADB, and AC is the hypotenuse of ADC. Um, then, I'm going to need to show that um, they share a side in common or that they have a side which is the same. And what we can now say is that AD has to be the same length in both of them. So we've got a hypotenuse, now we've got a side. And we can say that AD is the same length because it's shared or is what we say common. So AD is common to both triangles. Then the last thing that we now need to say is that they both have a right angle. And we can see there that we're told at the beginning that um, AD is perpendicular to BC. Angles on a straight line mean that if that's a right angle, that must be a right angle as well. So what we can say is that um, angle um, BDA is equal to uh, angle ADC. Ooh. Okay. And then what we would then say, state at the end of this as part A, is we would then just say, uh, therefore, uh, the two triangles are congruent, and we would quote that rule. So, um, and we would just say, therefore, uh, RHS is the rule that we're going to use, and uh, then just say that, therefore, they're congruent. Uh, 